Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is day 23 of the summer vlog series and I'm going to make sure that I actually give you a video today. So it's been a really busy day. I'm just gonna do a really quick video um, to share my thoughts on going to see the Dis new Disney's Haunted Mansion movie. Now, before I begin, um, I just want to let you know, I am gonna do another video where I compare both of the films and talk about the differences and things like that. But I am gonna touch a little bit on it today because if you've seen it, you will know it is completely different to the original. I'm not going to mention too many spoilers, but there will be some spoilers ahead. Um, so if you don't want to hear any spoilers, then I suggest that you come back and watch it once you've seen the film. But with that being said, let's get talking about it. This version of the Haunted Mansion is completely different to the original Haunted Mansion film. It's actually, I would say, based more on the ride than it is based on, obviously, the original film. They are two separate films following separate lives of different characters. There are so many familiar faces in it. There's the guy from Night at the Museum. There is uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Danny DeVito. So many well-known actors and actresses. But honestly, I personally really, really enjoyed it. It's not for children, I would say. It's got a 12A rating, but I actually think, if especially if you've got a sensitive child, it can, it's quite scary in places um i would say that the original film is far less scary than this one this one is very it's got a lot of jump scares and i can't tell you that i didn't get jump scared i probably jumped out of my seat three or four times maybe more than that because you know things just jump out at you or something you don't expect to happen happens um, but it's also quite emotional in some places if you haven't seen it then don't watch this bit um but in it does still deal with like some like a wife dying and things like that but it's not the ghost's wife it's his wife um and yeah it was very all i can say is it was very different but very good it was really funny in the right kind of places really emotional where it needed to be it really made you feel <laughs> like quite I, I wasn't scared but it made you have that sense of like dread in places it gave you the goosebumps in places and the acting was phenomenal boy i'm not sure what his name is in real life but he was so good at playing the role of himself and there was a plot twist at the end which well i mean i've already said spoilers so i'm gonna keep saying spoilers but the plot twist at the end where you think the little boy's dad is just like because he keeps talking about talking to his dad and things like that so you just think you know he's in another state and he's been talking about him wanting to go and see his dad and his dad wanting to see him and it would upset his mum and stuff like that and it turns out his dad is dead and i have to admit like i didn't expect that and it didn't occur to me until he was told to stay in the car and um, the book he opened the book and put his pen down and like try and talk to his dad and I was like his dad has to be dead because otherwise why would he be trying to communicate with him and I didn't know how they would do the ending or whether they would put um the two main characters together but they didn't it sort of was like a friendship and it was just really nice and kind of left it on the cliffhanger of like they could end up together in the future I could see there being like a sequel which is really cool but I definitely watch it again um I think it was really good. Again, if you have young children, I do not suggest going to watch it with them. I would wait until it comes out or I'd go and see it yourself. My, so when I was younger, my parents used to go and watch films and then decide whether they thought we would be able to watch them, whether they'd be too scary, whether they were too adult, things like that. Because sometimes things say 12A and there's nothing particularly bad about them. Um, but then sometimes they say a 12A and they're really scary. And personally, I know that if I'd gone to see that when I was younger, I think I'd have freaked out and definitely probably be not no and there was moments in the film where i was like if that was me in that house i'd be out of there i would not be in that house like that would have absolutely traumatized me as a child and that house probably would still traumatize me as an adult but i did really really enjoy all of the little references to the ride it's made me want to go on that ride so badly so fingers crossed i'm gonna get back to a disney park soon hopefully I really hope so um but that's where i'm gonna leave it at now because i need to get this edited up and then i've got a couple of jobs to do today so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below your favorite part of haunting mansion what did you think of it did you like it did you take your children did they, your children find it scary i'd really like to know because i know for a fact that as a child i would have found it scary um and what sort of age would you reckon you would recommend it for if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of my content then please hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell on so you are notified every single time i upload and if you want to see any more of my videos 
please click here. I will be coming back to do a comparison of the two films very, very soon. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye.